welcome to clickmyproject.com our project title distributor benzerine fault detection technique in wireless sensor networks based on hypothesis testing our project abstract distributor fault detection in wireless sensor networks is an important problem where every sensor node identifies its own fault status based on the information from its neighboring sensor nodes this paper presents a novel distributor fault detection algorithm to detect the soft faulty sensor nodes in sparse wireless sensor networks in the proposed scheme every sensor node gathers the information only from their neighboring nodes in order to reduce the communication overhead the neyman pearson testing method is used to predict the fault status of each sensor nodes and the neighboring sensor nodes a voting scheme is applied on the fault status information to obtain the final fault status of each sensor nodes the generic parameters such as detection accuracy false alarm rate time complexity message complexity detection latency network lifetime and energy consumption are considered to evaluate the performance of proposed scheme analytically as well as through stimulation the result shows that the proposed scheme significantly improves the performance over the existing algorithms our data flow diagram for distributor fault in this data flow diagram the start from the deploying nodes in the deploying nodes each nodes consists of networks or systems the systems combine to form a network so the deploying nodes mention that the the nodes can be plotted in a graph methodology to stimulate the network design in this network design the different kinds of networks can be stimulated the so next step the source and the destination can be chosen in the ch source and destination mention that the the network users uh, there are different kinds of networks wide or wireless networks uh, in the wide networks the source and destination can be in a particular networks in the wireless network the source and destination can be from uh, different places uh, so the intermediate no node can be in uh, also in different places so the in source and destination from different uh, networks can be chosen after that, the file can be chosen the file mentioned that the file can be a text file documents or a video files or any kind of files uh, after choosing a file the forwarding node should be calculated the calculation can be done using a distance by using a distributor algorithm the distributor algorithm can be used to analyze the certain kind of distance from a source to destination and the intermediate node can be calculated the intermediate node can be make sure that the there should be any identifier of the fault the fault makes the time delay and the transmissions of a request and response between the source and the destination and the file drops or packet drops the file can be sent using a for intermediate node by using a packets after that the fault can be calculated from the source to destination the fault mentioned that the sensor nodes in a wireless network there will be a sensor nodes to detect the intermediate nodes to be less fault the fault detections can reduce the packet drop and the easy of transmission as a secured way in the result data the graph present that the fault acting of a normal or intermediate node the intermediate node can be changed as a fault detecting node or sometime as a normal node in the normal node the fault detecting node can be mentioned that the data transmission should be as a delay process so the result shows that the detecting of the fault in the intermediate node from the source to destination the file transmission in a different kind of ways in this process the fault can be rectified and the file can be transmitted securely using the source to destination in a networks our project demo for 
distributor benzerine fault detection technique in wireless sensor networks based on hypothesis testing first click on home.java to start our processor intermediate node acts as a normal node or a detecting fault node this is our home page for distributor benzerine fault detecting techniques in wireless sensor node click on the any place in the home page it takes us to the login page if you are a new user click new user to make a registration in it give the username any kind of ids password and the mail id using the registered id and password to make sure secure login deploy the nodes to create a network sir each node consists of a each system or each users the networks can be created and click source and the destination choose any of the text file This is the content in the text file. This is the details of the file name and the file size and the total number of nodes deployed and the source node and the destination node. This is the distance calculated from source to destination. The intermediate node chosen between the source and the destination. and the path can be calculated using the average sensing node this is the sensing calculated between the source and the destination of the co common to the intermediate nodes and the distance also calculated there is a three forwarding nodes i am choosing six as a forwarding node this is the splitted packets using the forwarding port click on the next node1.java this is act as a intermediate node give the same forwarding node here as a receiving port the node can be verified after that again give different forwarding nodes give the this uh, forwarding port as a receiving port this ensure that the file can be transmitting from using the intermediate nodes from source to destination after that run the destination processor
the file can be received to the destination this is the total bandwidth calculator for every each and every nodes to calculate the intermediate nodes this is the processing time for each intermediate node with the source and destination this graph presents as the bandwidth for every nodes and its frequency for every sensing bandwidth nodes this graph presents as the fault detecting of the intermediate node the intermediate node can be act as a 75 percentage as a fault node and a 25 percentage as a normal node using the file transmission from source to destination this ensures that the intermediate node can act mostly uh, probably as a detecting fault node so this node can be considered as a fault node in this process thank you